All right, so we're going to be making some rosemary mints. So here, get my gloves on. Strain out this lye here to get the rest of the tuss of silk out. Whatever didn't dissolve. I made some lemongrass earlier and it still smells like lemongrass in here even though I moved the soap out to the cure room. Got that saponified there. I'm going to get our super fat moved in. Kids are off school for two weeks. They're actually being pretty quiet and pretty good so far. Although we're only a couple of days into the Christmas vacation yet. All right, so I think I'm gonna do mostly green for the base with a hint of white swirl in there, which is kind of opposite of what I do. I usually do a lot white and a little of color. I'm gonna mix this white up here. I always spill so, like always. I don't know why that is. The white looks pretty. Very crisp white. Mix the screen up there. And my spatula. My soaps are made out of coconut oil, olive oil, castor oil, um, canola oil, sustainable palm oil. Tuss, uh, cruelty free tuss of silk. I say shea butter and cocoa butter. It's also in there. Yep. Now I'm going to grab my rosemary mint fragrance oil here. The children have come alive in the background, as you can hear. Smells really good. It's called um, Revitalizing Rosemary Mint. It does smell very uplifting. Alright, it's all good there. I'm going to get the mold. Let's pour it in here. Leave the scrapings for the top there. Pour this in here. I think I'm going to take my hanger tool and kind of swirl about up there. No such pattern in that. All right, let's scrape the rest of the screen out of here.
usually like the mountainous tops are kind of my signature for soaps, but lately I've been just kind of swirling the tops here. I'm going to bang this a couple of times. I'm going to do some swirling back and forth on the top here to give it kind of a marbleized looking effect. Kind of neat. Then I might still lift it up on a couple of bars and see what it looks like with the swirling effect yet having it kind of mountainous. So I guess we'll see after we, we let it firm up a little bit and cut it tomorrow, see what it looks like. Thanks for watching.